स्वागत है तुम्हारा आज खोलेंगे मैथ्स का पेटा बचाएंगे डेटा हैंडलिंग का ढोलक मैं हूं अमित मोदक very fantastic welcome students to this amazing video and yes we are going to beat the dolak of data handling and students this data handling would be of your grade 5 and 6 now this data handling is very much scoring the best thing about it is we can score very well if we focus on this chapter and the chapter also do not remain very very tough if we understand the concept we can get the answers and we can secure full marks here and in every competitive exams we get data handling questions so let's proceed further and see what things we'll be learning in data handling and we'll also do some questions on it and before going to that i would recommend everyone to subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet and also do share with your friends relatives so that everyone get benefits of this amazing amazing topics getting discussed on this fantabulous channel so yes what will be our learning outcomes then so basically we'll be learn Name, what is data? What is pictographs? And finally, we'll end with bar graphs. So let's focus. What a data is? So data means it's a being a collection. Data is nothing but the collection of informations, collection of facts. like it can be in form of numbers it can be in the form of words it can be in the form of measurements observations or even the description of things so data is collection of facts collection of informations and this data is very very important for interpretation of anything like let's say if we i if we take example of a school now in a school there are different classes then in different classes we have sub divisions or we do have different sections in them so when we look into the whole data of the whole school all the students along with the staffs and all so lot of lot of informations are being there so informations can be in the form of number informations can be in the form of description of things like the data of yours might be in the form of name your father's name your mother's name then in the form of numbers your admission date your we can say uh, the date of uh, starting the school the first day of your school your dates of uh, the monthly fees your parents have paid the money so such like lot of lot of informations are being there and that's called as data that's called as collection of facts and these data are very important now let's comes to the pictograph now what is pictograph pictograph is a way of showing data using images now what happens is sometimes like it's very difficult it's very difficult to give all the raw data in expanded form so it becomes very difficult to just take out from there so in such cases the pictograph can work very well here that pictograph is basically making pictures but they will represent something okay now like suppose uh, for uh, like suppose let's say when our schools are participating in some competition uh, which are being held in different places what we do is we send few students they represent the school they do not the whole school doesn't go few students represent the school similarly in the picture graph or the pictograph 
few pictures will be depicting the data a, qu a quantity of information being stored in that picture so here if we see the picture you can see the months being given january february march april and just beside to it we have the shape of apples and few uh, one of the apple is being half also now this symbol of this apple is depicting some information some data is being inserted in it and it says that if uh, an apple is being complete then it would be equivalent to 10 apples and if the apple is half enough then it will represent or it will depict the 5 apples quantity full apple means 10 half apple means 5 okay so if i want to get the information how much apples were being sold in the month of january so it would be very simple 10 if it is being asked for february each apple is showing 10 apples equivalent to 10 apples so 1 2 3 4 4 into 10 that gives 40 for the month of march 1 and 2 that is two complete apple that is 20 and the another is a half apple see that means 25 and the last one is 20 so this is how we just take a symbol we take a picture and try to give the value to it in a form of bigger number instead of making 10 apples we represent one apple being equivalent to 10 all right so this is what pictographs are next comes each so that what i explain here january 10 apples february 40 apples march 25 apples in april 20 apples this is what i all explained you next comes bar graphs now what is this bar graph now i'm very sure you might have watched cricket or football sometimes so there they try to show some graphs in the form of vertical bars and it shows a lot of information in it it gives lot of information in it so a bar graph can be said as a graphical display of data using bars of different heights you can see the picture here that x axis and y axis being given where you can see multiple bars are being shown in form of different colors like you can see the first one is violet then a little bit closer to violet that we can say indigo and then you can see a red then green so these bars are, are depicting something what they are showing so let us understand let's say where we can see here grade grade a b c d these are the grades being obtained by some of the students now a grade is being obtained by four student b grade is being obtained by 12 students c grade is being obtained by 10 students and d grade is being obtained by two students so here we have on the x axis a b c d the grades and on the y axis how many number of students that's being shown as 4, 12, 10, 2. These are the data of the number of students who got that different grades. So, this is a representation using the vertical bars here. So, that are bars basically and we can say this graph depicting the all information regarding that particular the information being provided on the x axis and y axis that gives the our information of bar graph so the again this is a different kind of representation of data being collected so let's solve now some questions here so the question comes answer the following question based on the following pictograph so here you can see a table so, to make the pictograph, 1000 students, 1000 children 
were asked about their hobbies. To make a pictograph, 1000 children were being sampled. Now, there they were being questions that tell us that what are the different things you like apart from your studies. So, children who told about their hobby has been shown in the above pictograph. So, for the dancing, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, is it 8 student? No. It, in the end of the line, it says one single picture of a child depicts or represents 25 children. So, if it is being asked that which one of the following is the correct pictorial representation? For the children who did not reply, very important who did not reply means we had a option that the child can select either dance, singing, playing, traveling, adventuring. But again, few students are there who are not liking in any of them. So that we have to find that what is the correct pictorial representation for the children who did not reply, who did not reply anything that none of the hobby is being there. So let's see. How many pictures are being given here? So, each one represents 25 children. Okay. So, as it says that 1000 children were there. 1000 children were there. Okay. Now, if we add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. That means 33 single pictures are being there and each is depicting 25. So, 33 into 25 if I multiply, 25 threes are 75, carry 7, 25 threes are 75 and 7 that is 825. So, 825 children are being represented here. Now, how many children were there? 1000. So, out of 1825 children only said that they have some particular hobby. So, if we subtract 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 2 is 7, 9 minus 8 is 1. That means 175 students were there who were interest were none of them okay not dancing singing playing traveling adventuring nothing they were not involved in any of them all right sure so next question and the same is how many children are there whose hobby is adventuring right on the chat box how many children were there whose hobby was adventuring. So, here you have three people, three students. So, very simple. One is showing equivalent to, as I said, 25. So, three students would be what? 25 for each, 25 threes are 75. Very simple. Okay. Let's move on to the next question of the same. So, here we have how many children are there whose hobby is adventuring? So, the, just now we got for the adventuring, it's 75 students. 75 students. Which one of the following hobbies is liked by least number of children? Obvious, least number means very, very less. That is again the adventuring also. So, the answer is which of the hobbies? So, adventuring. Next, find the number of children whose hobby is either traveling or adventure. Means, two cases are there. Either traveling or adventure. Okay. So, if we look into the, so it's 75 and traveling is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 25 into 9. 9 5 is a 45, 4, 9 2 is a 18, 4, 2 25. So, as it is asking either traveling or adventuring. So, traveling we got 
225 and for adventurous it is 75 so overall we have 300 number of children okay sure so here comes the quiz time students let's discuss one quiz question and we'll see if you are able to do it or not so the given pictograph shows hobby classes chosen by the student of class 5 how many more students choose dancing as their hobby class than the art and craft how many more students were there in dancing as compared to the art and craft so write the answer on the comment box quickly that out of the four option what you are getting the answer okay done okay so let me reveal the answer of this question so it says how many more students choosing dancing so first dancing is one two three four four heads are there so four into as it says each head stands for four students four fours are 16 students now in art and craft one two three three heads are there okay three heads are there so four for each head so 4 into 3 is 12 so 16 minus 12 as the question says how many more students choose dancing so if we dancing is 16 and art and craft is 12 so how much dancing is more than the art and craft it's obvious only 4 okay so the right answer is 4 next question in the given pictograph shows the hobby classes chosen by student of class 5 which hobby class does students choose the least? Which hobby class student choose the least? Obvious one head equivalent to four. So, it is very clearly visible in painting. Only two heads are there. That means, that means four into two, eight. That is it. For the other, it will be more than that. That is why we will go with the category where the students are choosing the least hobby that is painting next move on from this bar graph from this bar graph we have to find that read the following graph and answer the following question in which subject the student gets the least marks in which to which graph it shows that the student achieves the least mark you look into the graphs very carefully the bars are being given to get an idea very quick regarding the size regarding the marks you can get very quick all right chala so let me reveal the answer of this question again that which subject of student gets the least mark that's very simple from the graph it shows the length is very less so obviously we'll go with the History. Next question. What are the average mark obtained by the student? What are the average mark? Now, for average mark, definitely we need to add it up because we know total marks by total. Amount. Okay. So here we are saying for English it is 55, mathematics it's 90, for Hindi it is 40. For the science, it's 80 and for the history, it is 20. So, 80, 20, 100, 140, 140 and 90. 230, 230 plus 5. 265. Okay, let me check once again. 55, 90, 40, 80, 20. 5, 8 to 10, 14, 14 and 5, 19, 19, 19, 19 and 9, 28, 285. Now, 285 is being a marks code. That is your total marks code. Now, dividing by 5 subjects. So, 5, 5 is a 25. 3 is left, 5, 7 is a 35. So, the right answer is 57. Okay, students, the right answer is 57. 
Now, the next question, students, I am going to give you as a homework. The next question is, I am going to give you as homework. So, complete this question and write the answer on the chat box and do let me know who is going to and I give and I will check it. Definitely, I will check who is going to be the first person to get the right answer of this. Okay, so see you in the next video. Till then, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care and please share the link of the channel with your friends and relatives and many more. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.